pick up this PO. Control C. Go back and do a goods receipt against it. How do you do goods receipt? Follow on functions, my go. Put the PO number in there. Hit enter. And where do you need to store it? You need to store it in raw materials because flour is a raw material. Hit enter. Click item OK and then click on check. See if everything is OK. OK, document seems OK. Click on save. There we have an error for object, blah, blah, blah. Number range 50 does not exist. So what do you do? Open another window. Go to transaction FBN1. Select the company code US01 and then click on intervals and say interval and then go to insert interval and say 50 for year 2016 enter a number and click on save let's go back and try and save this course receipt The reason why we are doing these transactions again after doing the new enterprise structure is to ensure that we iron out all these little problems, number ranges, posting periods, that kind of stuff. So once we have our own set of enterprise structure, materials, customers, then we can easily do these transactions without bothering too much about the kinks. All right. So our goods receipt is posted. Let's also post an invoice receipt. Go to Miro, put the purchase order in. The invoice date is today because that's when we have received it. And then it says in company code 01, the number range 51 is missing. So in company code US01, the number range 51 is missing for the year 2016. Again, how do you fix that? Go here and then give it a number range. So interval 51, 2016. I, instead of uh, 51, just type in 52. So put in a 5-2 number range. So number ranges have got to be exclusive. So click OK and then save again. Go back and try to execute this transaction. Okay, what's the amount for? It's 400. So enter an amount of 400. And the balance is zero. Now try and post it. Our invoice is posted. So what have we done here? We have started with clearing out some of the errors like fixing the jurisdiction code problem, setting an input tax percentage of zero. And we have created a vendor 4001 and copied it with reference to 1222. And we've also tried to create our own material. We could not use BP401 because it was not created in the new set of enterprise structure elements so go to material master material and create give a material name flower and select a material type of raw material select basic view purchasing view and accounting view and then go create a PO with the vendor 4001 for material flower 01 
and while doing his ER, we had some issues. We had issues with number ranges. So we went to FBN1 and then created number ranges for 50 and 51. And after that, we were able to do a goods receipt and invoice receipt. Let's check the stock and see if we really got the stock. Now let's see if we really got stock for flour. So go back and go to MMBE and put in flour for Chicago plant and click execute. It should show you the stock that we've just received. There you go. For Chicago plant, under the raw material storage location, we got a quantity of 100. So that just confirms that we really did receive the stock. 